Hello everybody, this is Baldrich and this is Thunar, automatic sort order. And this is the second thing that I told you I was a bit now annoyed about with the default behavior of my Thunar setup. Um, as it is now, now I have this Thunar IPC script running. Uh, it, it changes the layout, you know, when I go into dot directory, it changes the list view, icon view. Let's recap this really quickly here. This Thunar IPC start is a bash, bash script that starts a, a Python script. This Python script, every time uh, the title changes of a window, we test to see if that window is uh, Thunar. If it is, then it executes this update FM script and pass uh, the path to Thunar and the instance name and the window ID to this update FM script. That script in turn uh, uses the path that is passed pass to it uh, and matches that against uh, this drules file with our parse rule script here. And the drule file, uh, and that will in turn return uh, the rule here that we have set, either I or L. Then we can use uh, the instance name of, of the, the current Thunar window, which we can see here uh, is Thunar-L or Thunar-I uh, because every time we change the layout from icon to list view, we also change the instance name to uh, match the rule. And by doing this, we can see um, uh, if we need to change the layout or not. And to change the layout, we send here control one to set it to icon view and control two to set it to uh, details view or list view. So that's where we at. But uh, what I would like to add is uh, uh, extend our rules here a bit and add so we can sort by time, name and size and uh, the sort order if we want it ascending or descending and this is uh, there's a lot of things we have to add here now but i will we, and, and i think we need to, to do all of this in one video uh, updating here so i will try to keep a, a high pace here and we we will see how far we get so let's clean up our script here first a bit remove these stupid comments uh, and stuff here. <clears throat> what we do is we get a rule, uh, add that to a variable called rule, and then we compare if the rule is equal to uh, the old rule that was applied uh, by comparing the instance name, removing the Thunar part from the instance name, then we can see that. If the rules are the same, then we just say here, uh, layout already applied, otherwise we do stuff. Uh, I would actually like to do this now. Old rule is equal to this. And then we can change this test to be old rule instead. <coughs> and we change the name of this variable to be new rule. Good, and then we comment this case clause out here. Save, open our deed rules file, and uh, let's define some, some new rules here. So the default rule, I want it to be list view as it is now, uh, but sort by name and ascending. So uh, yeah, alphabetical order. Uh, home directory, icon view, name, ascending order. And then just uh, to try here, test descending uh, or time, and we can do size ascending or whatever. Doesn't really matter here now. Can also add that as a comment here. Or size. There. Then we go back to update FM. And add some debugging info here. Echo old rule, old rule. And we can do new rule, new rule. 
and we also need to add the, to change the instance name but we don't uh, send any keys here we just change the instance name so we, so we can so we update the rule here we remove the key command there set it to and now we have changed the variable name here so we need to set it like this and now i think we can debug this or, or test this a bit here now so if i change directory to uh, dot you can see the current instan instance is thunar-i apply new layout old rule i new rule lna open a go back to home directory old rule lna new rule ina so yeah, good. <clears throat> but now things get a bit weird here now because these rules now, they are uh, three different things. One is setting the layout, one is setting the sort order and the other is setting uh, the, the sort type. Uh, so we need to do a couple of things here. One is to add key bindings to set these uh, sort uh, sort options here so we can send that with exo tool and remember to set the key bindings you could just uh, select the menu and then hover over an item and i will set now sort by name set that to control shift alt n sort by time control shift alt t uh, no not type size Control shift alt s and date or time to control shift alt t ascending control shift alt a descending control shift alt d and there is a reason for both having these inconvenient key bindings but more importantly that the uh, characters match like sort by name matches the rule because the, the n means that sort by name so then we basically send control shift alt plus that rule so that's one important thing we should add <clears throat> i think also let's change here uh, view as icon to control shift one oops one and detail list control shift alt two i know the maybe it will become clear maybe not what who, who cares so now I can change here, uh, Control shift alt t changes to sort by time, d, descending order, a, as, uh, and so on. But, you know, when we are in... Um, or did I? When we are in list view, now these key bindings doesn't work. Control shift alt t nothing happens d a nothing happens because in list view you cannot send any key bindings to change the sort order uh, you can see the menu is even uh, <laughs> removed here in in this view for some very strange reason ask the xfc developers you know but you can change it by clicking this uh, header here or notice here now uh, sort by name is uh, active here now if i go back to icon view and then change sort by time and now go back to list view now that sort order is activated and this is how we have to do it we have to uh, make sure that we are in icon view set the sort order then go back to list view if we have have to and stuff like that but uh, i'm getting ahead of myself a bit uh, we got our rules here now which uh, currently consists of three different characters um, and we need to, to uh, isolate each of these characters so we can compare them differently and stuff. So I will use some, some bash magic here. Um, oh, we can do it here. Old rule equal tilde dot asterisk parenthesis a pipe d dot asterisk old order is equal to bash rematch one 
uh, what's happening here is we do a regular expression test here to, to see if the old rule uh, contains the character A or D. If that is true, uh, then this test is true. But then we assign to a variable here that we call old order uh, this thing, which is a built-in uh, bash array that contains uh, the last regular expression match. And bash rematch zero, that contains the whole match, which will be the whole rule here, because that rule will match this. But then you can also uh, create groups within the, your regular expression by uh, putting, putting them inside uh, parentheses like this, and then access that inside this bash rematch array here. So one will match the first uh, group here, meaning that the variable old order will, will be either A or D, depending on yeah, the old group. So then we just create two more here for... Um, size, time, or name, and we call this one old sort, and then we have I icon or list, and we call this one old layout, then we do the same test with the, the, the new rule as well. There, now we have created six new uh, variables here that we can, can use to, to, to fine tune our Thunar setup here. The first thing we have to, to do is um, uh, see if we are, if the sort order uh, is different, then we have to go into icon icon view and remember all key bindings now are all control alt shift and then something else so so let's also create a, a variable called uh, combo is equal to control plus alt plus shift plus unknown um, or maybe we should start like this uh, if new layout is equal to icon view, let's start here. Then now I will also because we will try to 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 collect all keys we need to send and send them with one uh, single x2 tool command to make this uh, feel much more uh, fluent and and good. Uh, and we will also really try hard here to send as few keystrokes as possible. Meaning that if, for instance, we are already, we, if we come from a directory that already have icon view, then we don't have to change to icon view again. Then we don't have to pass those uh, that key combination. But uh, if new layout is icon view, if uh, then keys plus equal parentheses combo one and here combo control alt shift plus one which is uh, uh, the key combination to change to to icon view um, five okay but this doesn't make that much sense uh, we, uh, as it is now because as I said, we we have to go. We go into icon view. If either the new layout is is I, then we go set this. But as I just said, also so, sorry for being a bit uh, confused here. New layout is icon view. We set the key combination to Control Shift Alt One. But we only need to do this if uh, if the old layout wasn't icon view, because if it was, then this is unnecessary. So if old layout uh, is not equal to icon view then we add this uh, key combination step one 
We also enter this key clause if uh, the, the layout have, have changed. So even if the new layout is list view, we still need to go, get, go into this icon view. So we test here if the sort order have changed. Uh, and the sort order, it can be either uh, the order or the mode have changed. So if any of these have changed, we, we enter here and we can combine these two into one test here if we do it like this. If uh, old sort, new sort, this will concatenate those two variables into, into one string here and we compare that string with a concatenation of, of new sort new order. Oh, I can see I also need to change this to old order here. Right? Order. There. So, so here we can see that for instance uh, here we have old rule, new rule. So here old sort or old order would be um, uh, NA. A new order, uh, old order is also NA. Whatever, I think you get it. <clears throat> and in this case clause, we also now test here for if if uh, old order is not equal to new order, then we add uh, the key combination to, to change the sort order, which is uh, combo. Uh, and then, you know, um, the order is either um, A or D, ascending, descending. That will be the content of the variable new order here. And that is the key we want to send here. Combo, control, shift, alt, and then A or D. So we could write it like this. Uh, new order. Then we do a similar test. Uh, for sort, which is the mode, if it is by time, uh, size, or, or whatever, you know. There. Um, and finally, we, we test if um, new layout is equal to list view because it could be list view uh, yeah you get it uh, then then we set uh, we add the combination control alt shift plus two to set it to, to details view let's see here echo keys to send printf Uh, and then we print our keys array here, like this, and see if it what happens there. I entered this directory. The old layout was icon view. Uh, sort by name ascending order. The new uh, directory is list view sort by name ascending order. So it's the same sort order. The only thing that changed was uh, was the layout. So it only sends here control shift 2. If we go back into the home directory, uh, it only sends control shift 1. You can test some other directories here. Git directory. Uh, both of these are icon view. Uh, the only uh, and both are ascending sort, but uh, but uh, sort by size. So it only sends Control Alt Shift S here. There I entered a, a, a list directory. Hmm. Here it should have actually sent uh, more. Here it only changed the, the layout, but the sort order is different here. Ah, 
we have here the test is equal to it should be it's not equal to there no yeah 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 good I think this will work uh, let's try to, to send some keys here and see see how, how it looks like instead of, instead of just looking at the text here I think it's easier to understand what's going on So key window window ID, but instead of sending control plus one, we send uh, the content of our keys array here, like this, and without quotes. Uh, it's important because every key on yeah whatever. I think this should work. Let's just try it. Git. Now it seems like it never. There, now it's working. Okay, home directory, I and I. Let's enter dot directory here or whatever. So I and I, that should be sorted by name. It doesn't seem to work at all here now. Pix directory, send control shift two, go back. Control shift one, I and I, L and A, git. I SA yes changes sort order changes sort order now now I think it's working you see it, it kind of had to reset itself got uh, confused whatever okay let's try it go into dot directory that's a uh, sorted by list but same sort order we go back we, it just changes icon view uh, we can yeah let's bring this up the git directory should be sorted by size, icon view. It would be interesting to, to change from a, yeah, from one that changes both icon and list here. So let's go into git directory. There it just changes sorting by, by size. But now if I change now to a subdirectory here, it should default to the default rule, which is list view, but it will still first send the uh, whatever this works <laughs> good um, and it doesn't feel that that uh, glitchy you know but a little bit and we can actually improve this uh, or improve but you you, you can increase uh, the delay a little bit here with the key command there is an option called delay and by default I think it's 10 milliseconds between each uh, uh, keystroke it sends and I, I don't know, you have to experiment here and see how, how low you can set this value because the lower, the faster it will send the keys. But it, it might, sometimes you, you get issues if this is too low. But I think it will work here. So there we can go into dot directory. You see now, now it's really fast. And it, it's both because we have a low delay, but also because we are really, uh, really making sure not to send uh, unnecessary keys here. Okay, uh, I think this is uh, good enough for this video. And we continue in the next one with adding uh, to launch FM also. So it will also um, use these new rules when we when we start a new instance of, of uh, Thunar. Because right now that uh, only mat looks for I and L here. So that's the next thing we add. Um, then I would really like to add this and, and I think this will be great. I haven't tested it yet, but we, we will make this update FM, which is only executed from the, the Python script. It would be great if we could execute this script from uh, uh, by ourselves, uh, especially from within Thunar. So we can update the current Thunar instance and apply rules with this script instead of using the key bindings here. Then we can add much, much more convenient key bindings. It will... Uh, apply the right rules and change the instance name and everything it will be great it will be super nice but first we, we add this to the launch fm script which should be a, a super easy thing to do i say thank you for watching have a great day everybody bye